Hi friends. I wasn't planning on filming, uh, obviously, because I, I look like a turtle. I'm at a succulent day, and I came in here just to stop. I saw them post on their story yesterday, so I was like, I want to go take a look. And they have a couple of gems, literal gems. So I'm going to show you around, and I'm definitely going to be picking up a couple of plants today. And then we'll do a haul at the end. I'm here with my friend Ashley, so... You know, I'm not gonna take up too much of her time. I was like, can I can I film a tour, please? Cause this is like, they have so many great things, so. Okay, so down here, you know, we have a couple fun things. Nothing super exciting. Um, we do have some variegated jade plant. And back here we have some, we have some, oh, why can't, agave, some crested euphorbia. And then over here we have some variegated elephant bush. A little string of pearls and some more echeveria. But then if you get up here, we have a whole heck ton of cacti. I like this one because he's super blue. These ones are also blue, and so is that one. So it's pretty dope. Some more echeveria. These actually look like chromas. So here's something super fun. I don't remember what the name of this Haworthia is, but it's super, super rare and hard to find. Then we have a couple of these, which I already have. And a couple of other really fun little cacti babies. Then we have this beautiful Echeveria flower. It's so nice. And here we have literally a bunch of Haworthia. And then back here, they have this fun aloe. Also, sorry it's so loud, the door's propped open. Down here, we have some more of those Haworthia. I really like these. They're so pretty. It looks like ice on the top of them. Then going down this way, we have some Hernia Zebrina. Some more aloe. This one's more red. And then some Apuntia. Those are so cute. Those are actually purple. I'll pick one up in a second and show you. Some more Horthia. This is another relative of the Horthia that I just showed you. It also is variegated and a little see-through, so we love her. And over here we have some more of that aloe, Horthia, Kalanchoe, blue cactus, bigger aloe. And this really cute little round guy. And these super cute little succulents back here. Behind that, we have some of these. We have some of these super cute succulents. So I don't know what species this is, but it's all potted up. It's the pine cone cactus is what some people call it. Um, and then we have these really cute pots. <laughs> these are called the gold nippy pots. Um, and it's made by this guy, in case you're curious, by Woodhouse in McCall. We have some super tiny little seven inch potted ones. Here's that Opuntia again. Super duper cute. We have some jade and some potted little cactus gardens. Actually, look at this cactus garden. Oh my gosh. This is a jumping cactus. So if you touched it, it would go like Yeah. These little ones right here are super cute. I don't know what those are, but wow, I love them. Okay, so, okay. A couple more. I like everything. She's like, any of I have like a regular green pot and I have that one, but I don't have like the, like, neon. Neon's really pretty, but I mean, I love everything. I was like, it's the last one. So over here we have a Serious Monstrous. I've been considering. And down here we have a super big rubber tree, some different bakia. Ashley is checking out some cacti. <laughs> Down here, we have some Skindapsis pictus, some super beautiful Calathea, some crown of thorns, some more Calathea and Skindapsis. We also have some Zanzivaria. We have Pothos mojito, some Hoya carnosa compacta. 
Ooh, we have some new pots. That's nice. Some string of hearts. It's really good, but it's gotten like super I don't know. Hopefully you shouldn't do any, but like it's gotten brown spots in the middle of the leaves. Like I've seen them getting from the edge, you know, like or uh, like when I was This one's really them. soft. Okay, over here we have a Serious Peruvianus I've been eyeing. This thing's only $98 for that whole thing. And I just have my birthday, so I mean, might be able to spend some cash, but I don't know. It's not a Spiralis. Then here we have some Staghorns. We have some of these. I cannot remember what these are called. Um, some ZZs, some Dragon Bone Cactus. Have some poly and some syngonium. Are you getting that one? Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a cactus garden. And here we have some more skindapsis, some crested euphorbia, some Dracaena Janet Craig, some peperomia, some Aglianema chocolate. ZZs, and up here we have some cute little Hoya Curiae rooted leaves. Zero Graphica Tilsandia. Some agave. Every time I see this now, I think of Chloe because she loves them. Some fern. My fiance loves those, as you guys all know. More aloe. They got these begonias in. They're not maculata white eye, but I don't know what kind they are. But they're nice. They still have the beautiful red shiny undersides. Over here we have some super big aloe, pothos, and aglionema. We have a cardboard palm tree. I can't remember the botanical name of this plant. They're selling it for 116. Zamia furfuracea, cardboard palm. Oh, that is such a good price, what the heck? Anyways, this thing literally, you can hear it, literally cardboard. Okay, moving over this way, we have two different species of aglionema. Some super cute pots, again, I love these. Chloe got me one for my birthday. I love these pots too. I have one of these. Bunch of Calathea macanoia. We have some more succulent arrangements. This one's super pretty. They do really good arrangements here. It's kind of unreal. Like I feel like most other places just honestly look like garbage and here it's like, it's not glued down, nice and loose. Nice plants. Oh, cute peperomia. Look at this leaf. That is so bright. Some little ponytail palms. Here we have like a pink Tillisandia. This pot freaks me out. Here we have a fishtail palm. A couple of Hoya Carnosa. That's cute. These guys are going for $25. Down here we have some aloe, aglionema, ferns, uh, Sansevieria moonshine, Monstera deliciosa. Oh, how did I miss? Pilea peperomioides. And then your stickers. Um, do you know how to yes. water those? Yeah, like just a little bit because it's not. Here, I'll hold the bag open for you. Um, within one week, we'll take it back. Oh. Hello. I apologize for the angle, but we are at a cafe. We're going to have to talk a little loud. We're at Caffeina. We're going to do a plant haul. And I wanted to show you guys. This is my second legal drink I've ordered. I got a mimosa and I've been hammering water so that my body can handle the alcohol. So we're gonna do drinks and plants and reusable straws. Your hair looks super good. 
I also, sorry, I didn't know I was gonna be filming today. I wouldn't look like a turtle if I knew I was gonna be filming today. Mm -hmm. So, but we're here. And we both bought plants. Ashley's gonna be doing a cactus garden. Mm -hmm. So she's got cactus. I also have cactus. I actually didn't buy anything that's not a cactus. We both have cactus. This is a cactus haul. Cactus haul. Cactus haul. So we bought these plants from a succulent day. And I don't know what it was, but I just woke up today and I was like, well, I'm buying some plants. And we were here, we were already out here, so here we are. So, what do you want to show them first? This baddie. Ooh, so I actually don't know what kind of cactus this is. It is a blue cactus. Ashley got this for eight dollars. Yay. I just realized it's an Ashley and Ashley plant haul. Ashley and Ashley. So, this is a devil's tongue cactus. It has these beautiful pink spots on it. I love it. She's amazing. It doesn't say the price on here, but I got this for $10. Look, this thing's like the size of my head. It's amazing. I love the bright pink on it. Um, at some point, I think at the very end, I'll like line up all the cactus and do like a little tour. There's a nice plant spot right here, but yeah. She's super cute. <gasps> oh wait, I didn't see you pick this up. This boy I picked because of <laughs> reasons. Um, what do you like about it? I kind of like how it's fuzzy around and how small it is because I'm creating a cactus garden and I wanted some smaller cactus to go in it so it creates more contrast within the piece. Um, ooh, okay, we'll do this one next. I'm really excited about these last two ones. Like, you guys have no idea. I'm also very excited about this one that I'm about to show you if I can get it out of here, but, okay. So, I showed you in the video a little bit. Um, this is a Haworthia that has clear tops on it. Amazing, right? It has this, like, solid green here, but then straight up, like, clear see-through it's like a baby toes but not freaky but holy moly i've never seen one in real life before feel pretty lucky to have gotten this for five dollars oh and ashley's last cactus was also five dollars so. pretty affordable so far okay so i have this one what is it Ashley? this is a blizzard aloe vera blizzard aloe vera i honestly chose this one because i didn't see another one of it in the store so I wanted my cactus garden to have some sort of unique, different kind of pattern aloe vera plant that's not basic green, because I like different. Yeah, it has these little white dashes on it. Um, and I just really like the complexity of it. It's not too intense, but it's also not too simple. So I thought it'd be a really great match for my cactus garden. Do you and remember this, how much it cost? I want to say it was six or eight. Probably eight. I don't think I've seen anything there for like six. Five. It was a good price. That's good all price. that matters. It was a good price. Okay, I'll show you this one first. Uh, yeah, save that one for last. This cactus I've been wanting for a really long time. This is the Opuntia Santa Maria. I'm pretty sure. I've been eyeing them every time I've been there. And I've never, ever pulled the trigger. And, um... Yeah, these ones actually have like a really blue, kind of like purpley hue to them, especially as they get older. It's hard to tell in camera because it's so saturated, but like it's really got a purple blue kind of like vibe going on. And I like this one the most because it has like a paddle here, two baby paddles, a sideways paddle, so you're like a little incongruent. And then you have a little side paddle, just kind of like shooting out like, hello. I knew I was gonna buy one. The regular ones that weren't potted up already were only $16. This one was 20, this was $30 for the whole potted deal with the cute rocks and everything. But I honestly, I only bought it potted up because like the pot is cute. I could care less, honestly. It's not like my kind of pot. It was because this is the one that I wanted. So that's why I paid so much extra money because it matters, so. Here she is. All right, so I grabbed this one. It's a little circular mo boy. It almost looks like an Obisa. Sure. 
<laughs> I chose this one because I like that it was circular. I thought it'd be really good contrast to my cactus that I already have and my other succulent. And he's blue! He's blue. He's blue boy. I can show you better in a minute, but he's blue. He's blue. He's just perfect, kind of pudgy, and I love it. So I thought it'd be really great for my cactus garden. And it was only, let's check it, six dollars. Woohoo! Good prices. Yay. That's my cactus haul. For my last plant, I bring you something so unusual, so beautiful, that you're gonna be like, Ashley, what the heck? Okay, so I've only ever seen this sold in person at Aryan Botanicals. I passed it up once. I will never make that mistake again. This one also is potted up already. This is the pine cone cactus. Of course, the light's like too strong now. This is the pine cone cactus. He's beautiful. Some people, when they don't have the spikes on them, some people also call them the poop cactus because <laughs> sometimes they grow in ways that make them look like little turds. But I love this guy. The spines aren't like too pokey. They actually kind of feel like zip ties and they look like zip ties too. But they, they come in a more blue variety, like a blue, kind of really deep green color. And I love the way that they chose to like pot it. I love this brand, they sell it there. Oh, it's so overexposed. They sell this cement brand there. They're amazing. I have two pots from this guy already. So honestly, it was like a slam dunk. I loved it. She's amazing. This is also the first, the first couple of plants I've let myself buy for my birthday in like a couple weeks. So like I did those other house plant hauls that I showed you guys, like the the plant mail stuff. But that was that was like over two weeks ago and I only just now posted them. So I haven't gotten new plants in a while except for the Salt Lake City trip. But those were all birthday gifts. So here she is. And we love her. She's amazing. I'm gonna name her Arium after the one that I didn't buy at Arium, so. Yeah, that's our houseplant haul. Um, right now I'm gonna show you all of the plants laid out next to each other on this cute little bench right there. Okay friends, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like, please comment, please subscribe. Make sure to tweet me at David Dobrik. If you're gonna leave a comment, leave a comment something along the lines of which cactus was your favorite. And I will see you guys in the next houseplant video. Bye. That's cute. Peep Mad Nippy. Oh, Peep Mad Nippy again. This is the one that poked me, I think, when I tried to touch it.